so this week I'm headed back to school and I have a lot of mixed emotions about going back to school. Last semester I took off and I didn't fucking think twice about it. I'm like, dude, I need to clear my head. Um, I really, really wanted to double down on my strengths. So I started teaching martial arts way more and I also started training a bit more as well. I did a competition. I went to Thailand for a month. That was very interesting. Did some training over there. I went to Koh Samoy, Chiang Mai. I landed in Bangkok, but I really didn't like Bangkok too much. It was... <laughs> Man. It, it, it reminded me of like Vegas almost driving through Bangkok like getting a taxi there and oh my goodness it was just it was so bad um, but I did have some really good food there and I got a bomb ass massage so that was pretty cool but anyways back to school I did a lot of things with my time off my time away from school you know traveled teaching training, competed in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu tournaments. I guess my main thing with taking some time off was really to get to know myself, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like when I first went into school, there was no self-awareness there. There was no... There was no interest there. It was wild. Like, I went there just because it was the thing to do right out of high school. And that was cool, you know. I met a bunch of new people. But, like, I, I, had, I had no idea what I wanted to do. So, my first year, I started with nursing. I switched to psychology. <clears throat> and I'm still sticking with psychology because I think that's what interests me the most. But still, at this point in my life, I... I'm very, very glad that I took a step back from school and I did things my own way. I got more in depth into what I already like doing and it grew to a real love where I'm, I'm really starting to understand myself as a speaker, a public speaker, because if you know, if you're in any teaching whatsoever, you're probably going to have to do some public speaking when it comes to one-on-one -on -one with people or doing group fitness classes or teaching martial arts or whatever. And with the whole traveling and teaching and, and training experience, just like that being my main focus, I feel like it really opened my eyes to a lot of things that I do want to partake in and that I don't necessarily want to partake in. I realize that I'm very, very interested in psychology. I realize that I'm very interested specifically in uh, trauma of psychology and that I want to continue growing as a instructor. I want to continue training. I want to conti continue to compete. <clears throat> and I think a school a piece of school has an element in my life. See, here's what really, really opened my eyes when I was doing school, when I was partaking in school and, and doing classes full time. And I was teaching and I was training a bunch. It hit me hard that when I was first getting into teaching, there was so much on my mind. There was so much presence it was almost like I was meditating that's how I explain it like if if it's hard for you to meditate like five minutes a day like it was for me at the time like three years ago it was like I was meditating for several hours every single day with teaching and training because I was so new to teaching I was so serious 
I was trying to really find my own style and to try to be light with my students and humorous with the people who were taking my classes, but I really didn't know how to do that. It was not natural to me. So with school and teaching a lot, I just, I'm like, man, I can't do it. So that's why I decided to drop out of school. Actually, I completely dropped my classes. I stopped going to fucking class because it was so much on me mentally. I was growing so much as an individual through teaching that I didn't have that much time to put into school. So I realized this and I knew immediately I have to stop going or else I'm going to drive myself fucking crazy. And I really don't want to do that. Now, let me backtrack a little bit. When I say crazy, I was also going through some things with my medication, getting off medication, me managing my manic depression on my own in a more healthy, sustainable way. All of these factors were aligning within my life. And I'm like, dude, I got to let school go. I think I need to get more involved into martial arts and teaching and really, really double down on that. Another thing that helped out with teaching was partaking in improv classes, improv comedy. So I think I've done a handful of those so far, but I want to do it more consistently. Look into that. I I really recommend improv if you're doing any type of teaching. It really gives you a different perspective and it it forces you to not take yourself too seriously. And I think that's the that's the number one tool to realize and to utilize as an instructor is not to take yourself too seriously. And to have a humorous side, to have a light side, to know that there's a spectrum of teaching when it comes to the dense, more serious energy, all the way up to the top of being super light, being open, being funny. So yeah, anyways, I kind of went off on a rant there. I'm going back to school. I'm taking a child and development class and I think a writing class or something like that. I'm only taking two. But I'm very curious to just see how this is going to go, this school year is going to go, this semester. Just because I I know what I want, exactly what I want, and exactly, I think, what I don't want. School is, there's such a long process to it. I mean, there's so much bullshit. It's so cookie cutter in a lot of ways. There's... I think 60 to 70% of school is bullshit, but I mean, the reason why I give school a chance still to this day at the age of 23, I'm still going for my undergrad, by the way, I haven't graduated yet. I think I have about another year to go. The reason why I give it a chance is because I found my love through school. I found martial arts. Eventually... Down the line, I started teaching at the same studio that I train at. I found Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu competitions. I love those. And now I'm even thinking about fighting a few years down the road, if everything aligns correctly. So yeah, man, I just really wanted to give you my experience. Hopefully this helps one of you out. If you are battling with going to school, I would say check it out. I would say check it out. If you have no idea what you are trying to do with your life right now, be open to your teachers, be open to other students, but mostly your teachers. Your teachers will guide you to certain paths if you are open to it. They will guide you. They will be your mentors throughout your college experience. And like myself, I was going to go into fucking nursing and I had really no no business being in there. I hated hospitals. I, I really didn't like being around a lot of people. I still don't. But give it a try. And I will update you on how this journey goes. See ya.